so this is just going to be um, a quick overview of how I developed um, a plugin for the atomic simulation environment GUI. Uh, atomic simulation environment is a uh, Python module which can be used to interface with a wide variety of electronic structure codes. Uh, it has a GUI, <clears throat> and I I wanted to use it for its visualization software uh, to interface with another piece of code that I wrote, which generates uh, spatially oriented level diagrams. So the way that I did that um, is first I uh, installed ASC as well as some other dependencies. So if you um, on my GitHub uh, in the sold uh, repository, um, this gclone slash sold, uh, if you look at the install thing, it'll tell you how to install uh, ASC. Uh, there's these commands. Uh, it requires matplotlib and numpy. Um, but other than that, uh, it's fine. So the ASC GUI is built using uh, Python like GTK, uh, which is a way of creating GUIs. Um, and so I don't I didn't have a lot of Python uh, GTK experience, but there's a lot of other modules, and you can sort of see what uh, they do within this GUI and then sort of figure it out from there. So first, um, I want to see, you need to see where the uh, the actual source code files are installed. Uh, and so to find that out, you just open up a Python interpreter, import ASE, uh, and then just print out ASE dot file. So you can see where it is. And so the directory which contains the file is going to be this one. So it's going to cd into that directory. Um, so you can see a bunch of other stuff contained within the module uh, and but what we care about is the GUI. And so you can see there's a bunch of different functions um, which sort of can correspond to different widgets uh, within uh, the GUI like package. So there's sort of two files that you care about. One is, in my case, levels.py, which is the, the module that I wrote. And two is GUI.py, which is sort of the main file, which puts everything together. So if I take a look at GUI.py, you can see uh, there's a fair number of dependencies. Uh, so one of the things that I had to change was I needed to add, so if I open up uh, AFC GUI, um, you can see that there's these menus, and so there's a bunch of different uh, action buttons on the menu. And so the way that you add uh, an item to this menu is it's sort of this XML style thing. And so here I added menu item action level diagrams. Um, so I needed to modify that, as well as it needed it needs to actually point to something. Um, so if I just look for that, I'm going to search for it. Um, but there's a couple things I need to. So the first thing is the menu item. Second thing is you need to uh, have it correspond to like an actual button that you click. So level diagrams, like the label is sold. Uh, so if I go to sold or tools, and sold is there. Uh, and then there actually needs to be a function that tells where to look. So I need to import the levels class um, from a file called levels.py. Um, so that, that's fairly simple. The actual, like, uh, so if I go to tools and I click on sold, this stuff comes up. So how do I actually make all of these buttons and, and have them interface with one another? So if I look at levels.py, um, there's a few. You have to. There's a few dependencies. Uh, I found if you look around at other things, so say like nanotube, um, you'll sort of see things that uh, do what you want them to do. Um, say for example, if you go to settings.py. 
you can sort of see, oh, like this is how I set up a window and this is how I set up a button that has this name and like here's how to set up other things. So if I go to like click on the settings thing, oh, here's how I set up a scroll wheel or different buttons that will do different, like a close button or things like that. So you can see the close button. Here's the code for that. Or the scroll wheel, like you can do this the adjustment class and, and the spin button class and all that. Um, so we go back to the levels uh, file. So you can sort of see. So basically every, in this initial thing, you have, you set up the window. Here I'm setting up some default values for stuff. Um, and you basically set up a button or something that like you click on or it changes. Uh, and when you when you click on something, then you it corresponds to it, um, a function. So say for example, this choose log file function. So when I click on this, uh, it has the label choose guessing info file. So when I click on this thing, a, a little window is going to pop up, and I can choose a file. And so here you can see like it's looking for guessing info files, which means it's like a dot log or dot out. Um, I don't know if I have any of the instructor. Yeah, so it's going to look for a dot log and dot out. Um, and so when I click on that, it's saying connect uh, clicked. So if I click on it, uh, look at this function, and then it will tell me what to do. So if I go down uh, and I look at the choose log file function, uh, you can set filters. So it was only looking at the dot log and dot out. But you can have it look for all files. Uh, and then you can get the file name. Um, by using like the get file name from this this chooser widget, um, a lot of this is well documented. If you just look up uh, Pi GTK and sort of look up with what you want to do, so you want a spin button or choose a file. There's a lot of examples um, and a lot of documentation on the functions within these classes. Um, you can run other any Python code. So here I so I wrote a function that will write a configuration file, which is passed to the sold uh, code. So most of the code was written in C++, and so it just punts it off to this binary, runs it, and then takes the output, and then plots it. So I'm using matplotlib uh, within this uh, little module. Um, so I can do other things. Like if I visualize a geometry, I can get points and get their coordinates. Um, so here, if I click, uh, if I click two atoms and I confirm their points, uh, then I will I'll put these into a variable called self dot chords. Uh, but if I have say I don't have two points, I have one or three or four or any other number, uh, you can throw out error messages fairly easily, and a little window will come up. So if I click and confirm, it'll say please select two points because I haven't selected anything. Um, so you can do a bunch of different things. You can have these little spin um, uh, spin buttons to set values. You can type it in, like whatever. You can have these radio buttons, which uh, you can toggle between different things. Uh, the file choosers. You can have text boxes. So if I want to type that, you can also it will get whatever value you type in there. Um, so there's a lot of little little things you can do. I found it was particularly helpful, again, to look around at other things and see what they do. So if I click on expert mode, there's all these different things. Uh, how can I implement those in my own thing? There's a save button. Um, and uh, I found, actually, with the ASC GUI, there's some other stuff where it crashes. Uh, but if you just test sort of what you write, on your own, um, it's not too bad. Um, so hopefully, hopefully this helps a little bit uh, in terms of getting started and writing. I found it was particularly useful because I could load. Um, so if I go into say an example directory, uh, and I do, I see. So the reason I wanted to use this is to visualize geometries and get points. Uh, so if I look at an X Y Z file. Uh, you can use it to visualize. And so say when I confirm points, I can get the coordinates of these, of these atoms and then do things with it. 
Uh, so if you need to visualize molecules and get and use results from that, then this might be a good way uh, to like uh, get input for other pieces of code that you've written. So hopefully this helps. Um, and the source code is on my GitHub, which is github.com slash gclan slash sold. <laughs>